friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 5th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Checking out here the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun always, as we're going through a G3 geomagnetic storm as we speak. Sun did produce multiple M-class solar flares today, moderate M-class solar flares from the lower sunspot regions and they're here on the left hand side cresting for an earth facing view and party for the next week as our sun has amplified its actions into solar cycle uh, 25 and we're certainly able to see quite an amazing show here brought to you by solar dynamics observatory Mixed here with daily events worldwide, a little earth comparison. And here's a look at our sun today, multi-spectrum. We do have that large coronal hole still that is earth facing right now. And as well, multiple solar events. Look at those M-class solar flares, flashes right there. And here's a small culprit there, solar tornado in the southern hemisphere, plasma filament spinning around and then whipping away we've seen a lot of them and you can see our sun is lined with them right now all those darkened regions except for that black that is a coronal hole amazing images here big coronal hole earth facing set to increase space weather events we've got a g3 geomagnetic watch that we are under right now and that is due to the plasma filament eruption i posted a couple days ago Space prediction spirals changed overnight as we were penetrated and KP index hopped up to 7 today. So yeah, definitely geomagnetic instability with our 6 sunspot regions. One and turning away that's been pretty active. Closer look at those big holes in our sun right now. Sunspot regions getting ready for an earth facing view. Put those into motion there. And that is where we saw the M-class solar flare. Watch for that bright flash. Space weather conditions. R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected. And as well, G3 geomagnetic watch. Strong geomagnetic storm impacts. Voltage corrections may be required. Fossil alarms possibly triggered. Surface charging may occur on satellite components surface charging to everything else that's electromagnetic solar winds are coming in at 474 kilometers per second but notable there the solar proton flux 155 sfu and that is set to increase here over the next little bit looking at the solar x-ray flux reporting there three solar flares two of them m class and one strong c class today Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP7 and very static proton flux right now. Having a look at the Aurora forecast showing the northern lights overnight. This was from last night, folks, over Canada. And then as it swung around over Russia, it started to really amp up. Total electron count is crazy right now, even across North America. Look at that. That is an intense aurora forecast for eastern or western Russia and Europe, northern Europe, Iceland, Greenland. You're going to see some amazing northern lights tonight. Having a look here across the United States for the total electron count. You can see all that red coming in to the Gulf of Mexico. Right there, having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center as their models changed since yesterday. Having a look at it right now, uh, showing that large CME taking off from the sun with an impact last night and into today and will carry on through the 7th of November. Big blob of space weather. As our sun shoots 
a plasma filament eruption. Also shooting off strong M-class solar flares. Amazing ride, everybody. Thank you for being here. And recently, we just did have another C-class solar flare showing here that the solar X-ray flux, strong C-class solar flare, and then geomagnetic activity hopping down to six. So things are still fluid with all the information coming in because it was kind of unexpected. Now let's get to earthquakes around the world as the strongest earthquake we saw today was a 5.7 here in Isangol, Vanuatu. Quiet through the Fiji region. Deepest earthquake today, 382 kilometer depth at Tonga. Normally we see a lot more deeper earthquakes through that region. Way too quiet throughout this region. So heads up, 4.5 there, Indonesia. 5.1 here, Arat Islands, Alaska. And we've seen quite a bit of activity recently over into Kamchatka and northern Japan. Now this week we're seeing more activity here. Western Texas reporting a 4.0 magnitude earthquake and as well a 3.9 magnitude striking Imperial California. But no major swarms or anything to talk about across North America plate. Sitting at 215 earthquakes in a 24-hour period, according to USGS. Minor activity all around the California Basin and East LA. But nothing major to report. Closer look here at the earthquake in Texas. Stanton, Texas reporting that 4.0. But just west of there, White City, New Mexico. Lots of minor activity has been continuing here in a very active fracking region. So don't worry about those minor earthquakes going on there. They're just doing their job. Carry on here. Caribbean plate. A little bit of activity today and just recent. Guatemala with a 4.4. But still way too quiet through the Central America region and South America. 4.6 Chile, Argentina border. It's a pretty quiet day. 4.3 earthquake here reported in Albania. And as well a 4.1 earthquake, Iran. Minor activity, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Give you a quick look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Still waiting for something big to come here, especially with the lull that we're seeing in the deep earthquake area because we can always expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow those really deep earthquakes but heads up north america central america next 48 hours could be uh seeing something big here speaking of something big we did have quite an eruption at kamchatka eastern russia ebiko volcano spewed out enormous amounts of SO2 and just looking at the sulfur dioxide map there that is quite a plume and it has invaded North America overlooking the rest of the world no major sulfuric events to speak of there are no new volcanoes that have erupted Australia is going through a busy start to their wildfire season right now so thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there quick browse at the rest of the world now let's get to weather brought to you by windy.com as we do have multiple systems affecting north america this week and a couple of them are going to be snowy so one is northern quebec and as of course we've got those systems off the coast of bc and alaska they will be penetrating this week. Alberta Clipper forms as a cold high pressure whips in behind that. So extreme weather event and snow for Ontario and the United States. And then a long range forecast. Tropical weather developing through the Gulf states. Could see an interesting system develop here in the West Atlantic. Heading along the east coast of Atlantic Canada. 
Long range forecast could see a big system there, but cold high just west of there might just block it. Tear it to pieces. Who knows? The forecasts do change. That's why I encourage you to hit the bell. Don't miss an update as they do change daily. Having a look here at temperatures for North America, minus three in the Ozarks. Forecast here for the long range, minus two Pacific Northwest higher elevations. But a big warm swath hanging out through central United States and through the Hudson Bay. Looking across the rest of the world, Russia totally enveloped in winter now, nine, minus 29 degrees Celsius in some areas. Watch for that to start fueling eastward towards North America. As we embark on winter 2023, having a look over Europe, Africa, multiple low pressure systems affecting the coastline still, strong winds, and a lot of moisture. High pressure ridge builds in for the long range forecast. Could block those lows, but most likely will intensify them. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, quite a nasty system affecting South and North Korea right now. Look at that beast of a system. Very close to typhoon material, strong winds, snow, and extreme weather associated with that. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who will be affected there. Overlooking Southeast Asia, India. No major systems except for this possible cyclone developing east of Papua New Guinea. And that will be heading southward towards the Fiji Islands. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. If you enjoyed today's Bye -bye. video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.